Here comes the man ranked number one. Just pouring his way through the dry ice and smoke at the back of the discote discoteca Alcatraz. And that is Arslan Bek Mahmudov, 25 years of age. He has made a perfect start. His World Series boxing career, I say perfect, it has blemishes on it. But he's the man standing at the top of the rankings. Oh. And a 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight division. Here's that top spot in the super heavyweight rankings. Felipe Hergovic. E allora è la volta del nostro Thunder, sei anni più giovane, per lui vent'anni italiano. Guido Vianello is the fifth ranked super heavyweight in World Series boxing, undefeated in his two outings so far. And rather unusually, both of those, vic both of those victories have been via disqualification. So he's yet to hear the final bell, he's yet to win by points or knockout victory in week two was a fourth round disqualification his victory in week four was a fifth round disqualification six and three quarter inches two meters exactly giant figure of a super heavyweight and this promises to be quite a matchup as he faces Division's number one in World Series boxing, Arslanbek Makhmudov. Perfect this season. Three fights, three wins. One of those wins coming, excuse me, two of those wins coming by way of knockout. So the opening bell sounds in this final contest of this week eight matchup in Group B. Taller boxer wearing blue trunks trimmed with back black of the Italia Thunder is Guido Vianello. Fifth ranked boxer in the super heavyweight division. Taking on the division's number one, Arslanbek Makhmudov. Three fights this season, three victories for the Azeri boxer. Two of those wins have come inside the distance. So we super heavyweight. Potential for a knockout. Always early, but there's a big right cross and another right cross in the left hand. And Vianello keen to hold on. And a standing count is being administered. Vianello shaken up. And it was a right cross that did the damage initially. Makhmudov scored with that same shot again and then a left hook as well. Has that eight count been enough for Vianello to recover? He's under pressure once again and at every opportunity, Vianello is looking to fashion a clinch just to allow his head to clear and get his legs back beneath him. Just 20 years old, Vianello. Fighting a far more seasoned 25-year-old in Makhmudov. 
And I said this has the potential to end early. Shorting left jab, right hand over the top again from Makhmudov. Vianello still doesn't appear to have his legs back beneath him. Just trying to extend that left hand now and keep the distance from Makhmudov. Do well just to perhaps write this round off and try and get back to the corner to get a minute's respite. And some instruction from his corner, Vianello, but each time he finds his back on the ropes, he's getting hit flush by some big shots from either flank from Makhmudov. Doesn't want to be in this position now. Uppercut's getting through the middle of the guard. He's trying gamely to fight back. But even though Makhmadov is a tall fighter himself, you can see from his physical robust robustness, perhaps far more suited to inside work, Vianello would be well advised to keep it long and poke out that left hand. Something, anything, to try and keep Makhmadov at bay. Makhmadov has been the dominant figure in this opening round. Here's the 10 second clapper. Mission almost accomplished from Vianello's point of view. There's a good counter right hand. It's a half hook, half uppercut from Vianello. But what a round endured by the 20 year old of the Italia Thunder. Shaken up by a hard right cross. It's questionable as to whether he fully recovered during the remainder of that round. That was the double right hand and then the left hook. First right hand, there's another, and a left hook. All the while he's going backwards, his chin is unprotected. And there's a crashing right hand over the top again. Aslanbek Makhmadov. Proving to be a rough customer. Guido Vianello. Put to the sword during that opening round. How well has he recovered? Second round. So moving to the second round, straight away, Makhmadov scores with a good, solid left hand to the body. Long straight jab. <laughs> Crashing right hand over the top again, and another right from Makhmadov. And Vianello has yet to make the adjustment to avoid that shot. He's been profitable all contest long from Makhmadov. And he's really struggling to keep the marauding figure of Makhmadov at bay. Only 20 years of age, Vianello, two-time national champion, one senior and one youth title. Picked up that national title in 2013. Skipped the 2014 championships to focus on his World Series boxing preparation. Took a national youth gold two years before that, excuse me, the year before that in 2012. So he made a transition from the youth to the senior ranks in successive years, always a barometer. A fighter with some ability, super heavyweights, of course, it can be an indication that he's just bigger and better than anyone else in the junior ranks. But Italy, such a rich, proud tradition. We saw Francesco Damiani in the crowd earlier, and of course, Roberto Camarelli. And he's got Olympic medals of every color taking the title in 2008 and coming so close to retaining it in that pulsating encounter against Anthony Joshua at the XL Arena in London in 2012 came away with a silver on that occasion his iconic status in the annals of Olympic boxing is assured what an inspirational figure he must be for young Guido Vianello he's up on his toes now his legs appear to be back beneath him and it's just as though he's hitting an oak tree because he just landed with a left-right combination <laughs> and Makhmadov didn't budge. I was going to say he didn't move, but he's got that characteristic twitch of his head. You see it continually shaking that head. Seen him box 
previously and that appears to be a characteristic of his work rather than suggesting that he's hurt but my goodness Vianello helped himself to a big left-right combination and Makhmadov just stood firm in the face of it there's the adjustment from Vianello had that left hand up high to parry that right cross from Makhmadov, which was so profitable during the opening round and the beginning of this second. Better round from Vianello. He did make the adjustment to evade that right hand. That was proving to be such an effective shot for Arslan Bek Makhmadov. <laughs> That's the effective right we were talking about in the early stages. Vianello just couldn't get out of the way of it. Quitted himself better in this second round. Not sure it's enough to take a share of it, but it was more competitive than the opener. Credici, credici, okay. devi credere, dai! E attenzione al suo gancio destro! Attenzione! Forza Guido! Dai Guido! Second down! Third round! Jolting left jab to begin the third round from Arslanbek Makhmadov. What a right cross once again between the rather loosely held guard of Vianello on that occasion. Not spectacular by any means in terms of his movement. Makhmadov just walks forward, but his punches are accurate and they are hard. Got that old school Soviet tradition of trying to hurt you with every shot that he lands. And invariably he's been doing that. Just a little bit loose with that attempted right hand as Vianello employed his legs to increase the gap between the two boxes. And again, Vianello, a good two-punch combination to the body. And that slightly dropped the left elbow, that body shot from Vianello. Slightly dropped the left elbow of Makhmadov, which is as much response as shown to any punch that Vianello has landed. Good right uppercut got through from Vianello as well on the inside. Guido being encouraged, but his face, if it's not betraying despair, which I don't think it is, it must certainly be betraying frustration because he's hit this man with some flush shots and there has been nary a flicker from Makhmudov. And at this type of range, I'd suggest is that it's Makhmudov who's going to have the advantage. Shove Vianello backwards. Vianello would be well advised to keep it long flick out that jab, even if it doesn't hurt or dent Makhmadov, it will pile up points. Makhmadov, a veteran of World Series boxing, as he crashes home another right cross again. Had one fight in season one for the Moscow Kremlin Bears. Then season two, boxed with Dynamo Moscow. Four fights, winning two and losing two. In season four, undefeated in five fights three of those wins coming by way of knockout as he gets with another big right hand trying to respond is Vianello but really with no disrespect intended this is almost like a pea shooter going up against the cannon working away to the body is Vianello it's almost like watching two siblings fight where one has a considerable height age and size advantage because the attempted retaliation of Vianello is having barely any effect. Really would like to see him keep it long and just pile up points with pitter pat punches. There's a good right uppercut from Vianello. And again, Guido Vianello outgunned during the course of that third round. Athletic, six foot six and three quarters, he'd be surely needs to be up on his toes and using that height and reach. 
There's two body shots and another one. That slightly dropped the left elbow, but look at the ferocity. There's a good lead right uppercut from Vianello. But for my money, the more effective shots, the more forceful shots came from Makhmadov during that round. Plenty of cries of Guido coming from the crowd. How much inspiration can he take from them as we enter the fourth round? We're just mentioning all of the experience. Makhmadov gets through with another right hand and now arcing his punches underneath. This is proving to be a painful experience so far for Guido Vianello. Left hook wasn't too far away. Vianello just reinserts his mouthpiece because it was almost dislodged by the shoulder. And indeed, it has come out altogether now. Blood from the ear. Is that from the ear of Makhmadov? We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Blood on the neck and ear of Vianello as well. Now, who is it that sustained the injury? It's Vianello that's receiving treatment, wincing in pain as the doctor takes, takes a close look. Taking a long, close look at this left ear injury that's been sustained by Guido Vianello. And it looks as though it's being waved off. The doctor, unhappy with the extent of the injury, Guido Vianello has been stopped here. And look at that for a laceration on the back part of the left ear of Guido Vianello. So often cuts in boxing. The concern is the impairment to the vision, but that is a significant laceration. Doctor examined it closely for a very long time, not happy with what he sees. And Vianello, when he's been consigned to his first loss in World Series boxing, and he's still yet to hear the final bell. His two wins came by disqualification, and here he has been stopped. And there, well, the, the wince was immediate. It looked as though it's the head of Makhmadov that crashed into the ear and just caught it, folded it back in the opposite direction because there was an immediate reaction right there from Vianello. And that's when he was fussing with his mouthpiece. But immediately he went so hard that the mouthpiece came out. Really incongruous injury. But it's one that is significant enough to bring about a halt to this contest. And Guido Vianello, the 20-year-old from Rome, is consigned to his first loss in World Series boxing. Born into a family of tennis players is Vianello. His father's been a tennis coach for the best part of 40 years. And he was attracted to the sport one day, going past Team Boxing Rome 11's gym wandered in and said he'd ignited a fire in him that he didn't know existed. But his mother doesn't like it and I'm sure she won't be happy tonight. At 35 seconds of fourth round, the winner is uh, blue corner uh, Makhmudov. Uh, Arslanbek Makhmudov uh, per l'Azerbaijan porta a casa il 4 a 1. Sfortunato il nostro Vianello. So, Arslanbek Makhmudov. The number one fighter in the super heavyweight division extends his unbeaten start to season five. Four fights, four wins, another one inside the distance. Three wins have come before the final bell of his four victories for Arslanbek Makhmadov. Meanwhile, Guido Vianello 
subjected to his first loss in World Series boxing. But for this match, it means that the Italia Thunder leave without a bonus point. The Azerbaijan Baku Fires have steamrolled the home team by a final score of four bouts to one in the C2 category. Dominant display by the visitors to consolidate their position in the upper echelons of Group B. Grazie al pubblico di Milano, grazie all'Alcatraz, grazie agli Italia Thunder che sono sempre nei nostri cuori. Ci vediamo quanto prima, speriamo ancora a Milano, ma l'appuntamento è per la prossima settimana a Roseto degli Abruzzi. Sempre Italia Thunder! So for the first time this season on home soil, the Italia Thunder have been silenced. It is the Azerbaijan Baku Fires who have inflicted their first defeat on home turf for the Azuri. They have lost by a final scoreline of four bouts to one. The